Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more of the crew too. Yeah, we're back. We're back on the crew. Why am I, why am I talking like that, mate? Why, why am I doing it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the only really good accent I can do is English. I can't do French accent. And you're probably wondering, why the hell would you even do a French accent? Well, that's because we're driving a Bugatti today, ladies and gentlemen. Specifically, the Chiron Carbon Edition, which I unlocked at Icon Level 1000. The last Icon vehicle, or Icon Reward, I should say. Aside from parts, every 10 Icon levels. But who cares about those, right? You want the cars. This is the last Icon Reward vehicle that we will be claiming, or anyone who gets this far for that matter and I've grinded a lot for this as you can see I have put performance parts on it because very evil me I have been using it and well we're gonna see how much customization we can do uh, I just gotta say off the bat it is literally all car all, all carbon you can't really see it because it's dark out but every bit of black is carbon hell I think even the tires might be carbon <laughs> Realistically, they're probably not, but it'd be damn cool if they were, right? Can we get carbon tires? We should have carbon rims. We should have more rims in general in this game. What, what is this ivory tower? Come on, man. Give, give us some more content. Now, the Crew 2 is pretty good about content. I'm actually making a full video on all the updates that have happened in the game so far, because like in GTA Online and Need for Speed Heat, I've done videos when a new update comes out, but I've never done that for the Crew 2, so I thought before the new update for the Crew 2 comes out, I'd make a video outlining every one of them that has already happened. I think for the first time ever, we're probably going to try and customize this vehicle through the pause menu and not the our home, because it's a new feature that was added with Inner Drive, the update, which will be in the video, don't worry. Um, but they also added hobbies, which I will be explaining as well. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. But without further ado, let's go into vehicles. And just like that, you can see we have le we're level 320, all right? 281 mile an hour top speed and just over 1,600 horsepower. Holy poo poo. That's insane. And right here is where we can customize this thing, which apparently we can't do because... We don't get any color or liveries or original parts, but we do have vanity. We have every single vanity item possible, and I think we're just going to go with these straight-up red tires. And smoke? Probably not. No nitro fits this car. Underglow? We will do red underglow. Wait, wait. We're, we're working our way up, okay? I don't know. This is actually pretty cool, but now we're going to stick with the red underglow, the window tint, and the horn. I'm not going to be boring and choose number nine horn. No. We're going to choose a nice one, a different one. Oh, that is horrible. <laughs> Air horn. Oh. Cheering, yes, you know what? I don't even care what the other ones are. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go for cheering horn. That's awesome, man. That, yeah, yeah, cheer for me, bro. Cheer for me. All right. Considering the fact that the customization is about a minute long, if that, for this car, that means we're going to do the races as per usual, or the single race. We're going to drive it around some more. More than we normally or usually would. So, I think without further ado, we should get on with that. Why is it not appearing? We, we want to see it. There we go. Look at this thing. So beautiful. So menacing. The only Bugatti I own, and it was free. I just had to grind. Cause that's why I ain't paying $2 million for in the game for, for, for Bayron, bruh. Nah, nah, nah. Not, that's not happening, okay? All right. N enough, enough fooling around. Just, just want to take a peek here. You can see I'm icon level 1030. I've been grinding a lot. Mainly for the hobbies, but you'll get a video dedicated to that. Don't you worry, mates. Don't you worry. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not too sure what race we're gonna do. Um, now, I think that we may do a slightly longer one. Like, this one's 11 minutes. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but... But, 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 we're going to pick one that's like, uh, 
I don't know, a couple minutes, like three minutes. That one's three minutes, 20 seconds. Um, is there anyone longer than that that's not too long? No. We're gonna go with this one. South trip, I've only done it once apparently. So let's move the difficulty up just a tad and get into it. All right, perfect. Look at this thing. Oh, wow. Hell yeah, boy. Th this is what we about. This thing's damn beautiful. Oh, I, lo I love that part. That never gets old. Oh, damn. Ho, ho, ho. You can see the carpet in the daylight now. Woo! All right, let's get it. Change the camera. There we go. See, that's the regular Chiron. I reckon mine looks better. What do you guys think? Hmm? I think mine looks better. 100%. For sure. But, let's get on with this. Let's see what I think of this. Now, unlike most of the street race cars, or other cars from any class in the game, I'm pretty sure the hyper cars, above all, feel mainly the same. Why that is, I'm not too sure. And again, that could just be me. But, I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that... You know, they handle very similarly. But, I'm not complaining. That does not mean that it handles poorly. It just means there's not a whole lot of variety. So, that, so that kind of means there's not a whole lot I can say about this. But, not like the other cars we've done. I mean, we've done some Icon cars before, but we've been mainly doing builds so far. And I have to say, with this car, this is one of the only cars that is pretty overpowered and you can get for free. If you grind, if you're a grinder. Now, again, if you even just place bronze by completing one summit event, no matter how big or small, you can, you're bronze and you can be legible for just the followers, which is usually 350 to 400,000. And the lower the icon level you are, the easier it is to level up. You can level up like 20 to 30 icon levels every week from doing one race. And just wait for the next summit to happen. It's really easy. That's pretty much how I've been doing it, to be honest. Except lately, I have actually been grinding with the hobbies and whatnot. So I've been doing some real grinding. All right, don't you, don't y'all worry. What do I think? At the end of the day, whether it feels the same or not, it does have handling characteristics. And I have to say, it's one of the hypercars that does bob and weave. It's a little hard to control. And as you can see, this is a very straight race. And even when there's some slight turns, you get some tire smoke popping up. Which is not to worry if you're a good driver like me, you can control it. I say that, I crashed into a wall about 30 seconds into the race. <laughs> but, not for real. I really like this thing. It sounds amazing. You can hear the W16 engine. You can hear all 1600 hearse purrs. You can hear it. It's legendary. Oh, please. <laughs> so what's my verdict? Should I... Is this car worth grinding for? Or, in the way I just described, worth waiting for? And I'd have to say yes. It handles very well. It's a little wild, a little crazy, but you can tame it pretty well. And again, even if you're just driving it in free mode, or just want to grind out some hobby challenges, or any free roam challenges, you don't have to have it max power to go really fast. And it'll make the handling easier too. So there are different ways you can play with this car. We don't usually do that here because I want to show you what stock versus max feels like, but even though I didn't do that, I think you were all fully aware that this thing stock will annihilate any maxed out car from a rally raid class or rally cross. Even, even a bloody powerboat, for God's sakes. I mean, it's just amazing. All around, great vehicle, and I think it's definitely worth a go. Y'all should definitely pick it up. Do yourself a favor. That was a pretty snazzy event. I was about a whole minute slower than the world record man. So whoever you are, mate, cheers to you. Cheers. Because I got nothing on you literally nothing beautiful got some parts as well so 
I must say. I'm impressed. I've been waiting so long to make this video and test it. And then it bloody rained. The coronavirus. Yes, it's corona. Because even though I don't make money, I don't want to have my channel given a strike. Because I still like making content, alright? <laughs> three strikes and I'm out. Literally. They will delete my channel after three strikes. So, I, I, I gotta be careful here. Maybe that only applies to monetized channels, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, this whole lockdown thing, I, I know it's been very difficult. I can vouch for that. Aside from schoolwork, getting my exercise in, and watching too many bloody shows on Netflix, and movies for that matter, uh, it's, it's been pretty boring, I must say. You know? Making some videos still, this is... Balls. It's no time like now, especially for me, a YouTuber to be making content. There's no excuse why I shouldn't be uploading at least every other day. And that so far seems to be the case. That's my upload schedule uh, for at least the past three videos. Oh boy, really? We see, that's a hobby we just did. Um, wow, okay, well, you guys will completely understand that when you watch my next Crew 2 video, which will probably be the video after the next one. That will be completely on all the updates. Every, every single update, I, I promise. It'll be a big one. By big enough, I made him up probably about eight minutes long. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you guys are keeping your mind open, doing the best you can during lockdown, during quarantine, and be safe. The places that are open that you may want to go to and go out. Just just be mindful, you know. Don't just think about yourself. Think that's the most important thing we need to think about here is that we're all in this together. We only need to think about each other and through this, because once it's over, mate, we're going to have a blast. And I just want to say, if you've watched this far into the video, it will be in the description for those eagle-eyed viewers, but I am doing a giveaway. It will be public, I will make a public video about it, a video solely dedicated to it. I will put it on my, in, on my socials. Hell, I'll even live stream soon, I promise, on YouTube this time, as like a final one before I completely move to Twitch, and I will mention it there too. More details coming soon. Do not fret. Do not worry. He's coming. The gift cards will be PlayStation, Xbox One, or Steam. Uh, that'll be it. $25 amount. Haven't decided how I'm going to pick the winners yet or the instructions, but it's going to happen. And I want to do that for a while, and I think, you know, all the support I've been getting, new people coming to the channel. I got 131, I think, subscribers. Let's hit 150, guys. I'm feeling... Oh, I wanted to land on the bridge. <laughs> I'm feeling confident we can do that. I really am. And if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and, uh... Yeah, guys, I mean, uh... See you in the next Crew 2 video. Till next time, guys. Peace!